Hi, my name is Stephen McGee and I'm the author of Toxic Health. I'm here today to look into sodium street lights. And this is a high pressure sodium street light. You can see there's a lot of orange in the light coming out of this light, but there's also a few other frequencies of light in there with that spectrum. And we're going to look at it. And the reason why we're looking at the light that comes out of these lights is because long term exposure to this kind of lighting may have health implications. And this subject was very extensively researched by Dr. John Nash Ott in his books. And I'm going to show you what this particular light does in the frequency spectrum of light by using a very simple spectrograph. And this is the spectrograph. It's made out of a compact disc. It has a slit in the end of this cardboard box. So it's very easy to make. And what it's going to let us do is see the wavelengths of light. So to do that, I'm going to uncover our light. As you can see, it's very bright. This is a 70 watt high pressure sodium light bulb that we're looking at right now. So I'm just simply going to put the spectrograph looking at the light source. And in here, you should actually see those bands of light. As you can see, it has a very spiked spectrum, very distinct bands of light colors. And that's because it uses gas discharge to generate those colors of light. And it's a very unhealthy spectrum of light. It doesn't occur in nature. You won't find anywhere in nature where this lighting occurs. It's very much man-made. And that's why you should be wary of it. Uh, any artificial lighting that is being generated in this fashion probably has a certain level of toxicity to the human body and you should limit your exposure to it. So there you have it, sodium street lights. That's how they produce the light, by using different colors of distinct spectrums to give out the total color of light that we can see right now. I hope you enjoyed this presentation and I wish you the very best of health. Thank you.